computer. Okay. So, hi, Nick. This is, well, I guess I should say, because I don't edit, as you guys know that are watching this, <laughs> that I just upload it so that you guys can get this information quick. Um, but my name is Monica Anderson, and I am doing, starting to do interviews and things with people from around the world that are going through this ascension process. And I have a group that I have created for beings to go to, and it's at therealityshifters.com. But that's where Nick, well, Nick found me and got connected with me through TikTok because that was my first kind of TikTok. That was my first communication to tell everybody time's a ticking. And he found me on there and we've connected and we connect more telepathically, I think. <laughs> Um, and he's one of my people that really is seeing what I'm talking about and is like, yeah, so we want to talk and I want to share his information today and if you identify with it. And as far as like knowing who we are, we're just people. <laughs> we're just people that have risen our light and want to share it with other people. This is Nick Kane. I'm Monica Anderson. And my company is Raw With Peace because that is my goal. And that is my mission is to create a world where everybody is raw with peace. And when you get to that, whoo, get goosebumps. When you get to that, you just love life. Like you're waking up and you see this template that is ahead of us and we can go on to it. So I'm really excited to talk to Nick today to hear his story and how he's come about all this and realization. So Nick, tell us all, you know, however you want to start, you know, your sure. whatever you got. All right. Well, I guess thank you for having me and thank you for everything you're doing. Yes. So, yeah. so I'll start with my first ascension. Uh, so from my understanding, <clears throat> all information, synchronicities or intuition I receive is meant for me to see. It just happens. I have no control over it. Like you're not so, reading a book or you might be, but you just get things that are no one else is really getting or whatever. And you just have ac yeah. you've accepted that now that that is like your next like opening of knowledge yeah or consciousness so when i was 16 i was fishing down by a river and i got really tired one day so i just leaned back and kind of just let everything go and then when you're in that meditative meditative state like you're able to connect with source or as i like to call it your higher self and then <clears throat> just all the information that I received wasn't through like sentences is more like paragraphs. Okay. So everything that I received <clears throat> was pretty much, we all, we are all connected. Like I was able to see your toy, toy field. Mm -hmm. We all have a certain frequency. We all are part of one consciousness. Um, another thing was I figured out that we are all telepathic. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was described equilibrium and how that affects your whole body and all that stuff. And I was told about like all your negative thoughts, how that resonates with your body. So if you are in a low vibration or like have depressed thoughts or just negative, that will affect your whole body. Yeah, all those frequencies going into your cells. And that's what we're experiencing right now is with these high frequencies coming out it's pushing out all that density that's been put in there for years those frequencies and that's what's causing all of the symptoms that people are experiencing but it's actually a good thing like i love it when i'm feeling nauseous or something because it's like i know energy's moving you know out so what, you've got to get what, all that energy out from the old world that doesn't it doesn't serve us for the new it's not needed 
Like, I don't yes. know about you, but I'm completely forgetting names of things like places that I've been for, you know, 20 years or whatever. I was married to somebody else for 20 years. I cannot remember details of the marriage. I only have the knowledge that yes, I was married to this person. And I talked to this person. I talked to my ex-husband and I scan him like through my frequency scan. Like I do all this stuff and people are like, oh my gosh, it's your ex-husband, why aren't you? <laughs> but it's, everybody is one, like you said. Yeah. You know? What was your, I have a question about your first, like your first push, like how you received all your information. Yeah. How did it happen? Yeah. Well, it actually happened, I mean, I because I literally didn't know about any of this. I only knew a religious con a religious kind of context of life. Okay. Um, and but I the whole time I was questioning it. And then my mom told me it's because I was a heathen and I'm evil and all this. So I just grew up going, okay, this is how I am. But I was questioning it, questioning it. When I decided I got a vision that I was going to have another child, a girl, but my ex-husband was like, no, it just didn't happen. But I ended up having another child and I, all these sequence of events, it was a hundred percent natural. Like I could have been in the middle of a field through the start to the finish because um, I went through the doctors and all this stuff, but I ended up delivering the baby myself. And when I stood up from delivering her, well, I was on my knees in this labor pool. So it was a spirit. It was a, a water birth. Okay. It's really important to do water births. And that is the best. It's actually on my healing web, you know, the healing web map at um, deepstatemappingprojects.com that I have, but it actually shows um, childbirth as being a water birth. Like you want to okay. do that because they, it's the water is magnetic. Okay, so she's like, she came from, I don't know, I think she's serious B because she's just going through all my study about blood work. But basically she just, I don't know, she transferred information. She unlocked information within me. So I stood up, there was a silver orb that went over both of us, which I didn't really realize at the time, but I stood up and the midwives came rushing in because they were at breakfast. <laughs> they came rushing in and they were freaking out. My husband was like, oh my gosh, all this stuff's going on. While all this information, quantum physics, I didn't even know the word quantum. Have you ever heard when you, when women give childbirth, like it releases endorphins? Yeah. And that like literally rewires your brain. Have you ever heard yeah. that before? Yeah. It's, I believe that the reason why they have pushed after having this experience that yeah, they, all the, and all the things that they do in the hospital is all to separate you from that soul integration. And that's what happened yeah. to me. Some people think maybe I had a walk-in. Um, I don't know, but just because I'm so different. I mean, my husband, he's been reeling from this since I had, since this experience, because it was like all this information came inside of me. And then I started, I've always been a researcher and studied and all this. And I ended up getting my metaphysical degree, uh, my bachelor's, I'm kind of working on my master's, but it's just, I'm living it instead of doing it. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, that's what happened. That was the beginning of it now. And then I started studying things and I was able to, every question I had about religion, I, I understood it all. I got it. I was like, Oh my God, what? Yes. Yeah, what happened I, to me? When I it, received had, it was so amazing because I didn't have to go through that. I already questioned. And I'd asked my parents and all this, and my dad was a pastor and all this. I'd always questioned it, but after that birth, it's just the, 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 it's like, I think it's equivalent to like a near death experience. You know, how they say that people have near death or they have some big experience that kind of like shakes them into, okay. that's what I kind of look at the birth as, because I was literally left alone my doula took a nap. She's like supposed to be a support person. She fell asleep. The midwives fell asleep and they woke up and said, Hey, we're going to breakfast for two hours. 
Um, my husband had said before, he goes, I know you, you're going to somehow end up, we're going to end up having to deliver this baby ourselves if we do a home birth. He said that six months. I'm like, what? I would never do something like that. I would never, yeah. I'm not that, I'm not that crazy. But then that's what happened. And then that's what made me realize that, that you're calling in your experience. I did. I called in that experience. And now whenever you say stuff with your voice, it's activated and it is going to happen unless you take it out of the law. So that's what I'm like really, really learning is like how the universe works, how the simulation works. And then you just, you just work those knowings and then I'm seeing it. I'm using myself as a example that everything changes around you. But yeah, I feel like I'm we're getting many awakenings or more and more. And now I'm like on another whole another level. Like mm -hmm. I know I'm bringing in the angelic template and I'm like, I see it. And then I'm finding other people that see it. So I don't even want to talk about, even though, you know, I, I, I did a Trump speech last night. Only I could only tolerate to listen to 10 minutes of it. But the minute I decoded it, because it's like back in the old days, because I went through the whole Q experience. I was one of the people, I guess, that was chosen because they sent me. I literally got the very first Q drop on the day. I don't even look at that stuff. I don't even know. And then I followed this whole thing. But when I did the I did uh, Germachia on his on his speech and within the first 10 minutes it told a whole bunch of information about these changes that are coming okay so they are telling us you know but yeah I, but you're being awakened we're all being awakened to how to find this information out so we can move forward that's what i really want to get to people to stop thinking about this new age like what are my past lives what you know what I mean? Who's Archangel Michael? All that—that that is not what we want to focus on. We need to figure out who we are. Don't you agree? We need to. Get oh, oh yeah, very much. Because that's where all the power is, and that's actually what is going to change everything and get us to the higher template faster. Yeah, from my understanding, they know exactly who I am, and they're definitely watching me. Oh, Gary, like, I have many stories like. <laughs> just like leading me in certain paths. Like I learned about intuition, like even like when my sons were born, like one night I didn't want to go out. Like I never really ever go out, mm -hmm. but I just got this push to go out for like for 15 minutes. Like I fought it, but then finally I went out. And then that night I met the mother of my children. Oh, wow. Yep. And then if I, didn't, if I didn't listen to that intuition to tell me to go out, I would have never met them and I'd be on a total different path. Like, I just think that's oh, you're cool. saying before your boys were here. Yeah. Okay. I was like, wait a minute, the boys are here. And then you met the mother. <laughs> so what happened to the, but you know, I'm like, anything can happen these days. <laughs> How old are your kids? Uh, they'll be seven and nine next oh, month. Oh, they're at that great age. Are they in school in a public school? Are they in? What nope, we just took them out this year. Oh, good. So you're doing like unschooling? Yeah. That's the best. That's like we were talking yesterday because um, Allison is hopefully going to be staying here, but she has a 13 year old. And I was like, well, what are your thoughts on school and all this? But I was like, because I'm going to, I've got my school I'm creating. But one of the things I want to teach the kids is the sacred geometry. And I have yeah. this book, this How the World is Made. And it has all these different um, sacred geometry patterns in here and they all have meaning and they tell what the meaning are. But I actually was thinking, well, this is great to teach kids and then they can draw these. Okay. Which is a very spiritual. Yeah, I'm definitely going to need some things to teach them now. Yeah, no, I'll send you and there's also a class, but there's a class that I want to buy it for my curriculum, but it's got all these like videos that you can watch all about sacred geometry because that's if they and they're at the age seven and nine, they're just like, 
whatever you teach yeah. them, they will just accept yeah, it. So and true. now we have to teach them. We don't want to teach them the old stuff because none of it's true. Yeah. <laughs> but actually, if you teach them this, the, you don't have to teach them anything. Like I'm not teaching my daughter um, how to read and write and spell but she reads and writes and spells she's five and she bakes and she cooks and she um i told her i asked her the other day because this was like a big thing in public school they might teach you math but they don't teach you the concept like the kids don't know when they say two plus two that means you've got two of yeah. one item and you're adding two more and then that makes four they just are memorizing two plus two but so i was asking natalie i was like do you do you know what math is? Do you know what you're doing when I say two plus two? And she looked at me like, <laughs> yeah, I do. That's what she's like, yeah, I got two, you know, and she told me. And I was like, okay, that's amazing. But I haven't, I haven't schooled her at all. She, she just learned it? She she learns it by osmosis i mean you see how i you know how i am and what i do when i talk about it. i talk about this all day yeah all day long everything is about this <laughs> and so and that's why my oldest daughter who's 28 she does she's gonna be 28 she doesn't want to talk to me because she's like you're always talking about this you never talk about anything anymore and i'm like basically she's saying she doesn't want me to talk about me in my the real world she wants to talk about yeah. TV shows but natalie goes to this class uh twice a week and she's been going to a school like this now for a year and a half or two years um where they are completely outside and they go create gardens they yeah. learn how to make antibiotics out of herbs they're doing sacred geometry without flat out saying it um but the woman is like awakened to this, like kind of all the kind of like the homesteading stuff. But this is for under seven, which I believe under seven, they need that. That um, kind of little house on the prairie, like learning, like cooking, baking. And like with baking, you learn math. You yeah, know? definitely. No, I love cooking. I love all yeah. that stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's like you don't need to do anything with your. How about your wife? Does she like cooking? Uh, things like that kind of not really though she's into other stuff is she like wanting to school them yes we're gonna school them we're not together though we're oh okay 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 so you're are you gonna have to do separate things then or no we together still no we're working together like oh, we have all the information that we want to teach them i just need to kind of learn about like more information. Like I like that sacred geometry book. Yeah. Yeah, no, I'll definitely plug information as one of the things in the group that I want to uh, put more, put stuff in there. I'm gonna have all the stuff about the kids and the schooling. I've actually created a whole like program of like raising children in the new earth, like and the thing is, is that it's, it's really what it is, is it's modeling. It's just modeling being the best human you can be in front of your kids. So with this child, this is, so I've raised two adults. I raised them the traditional way where I didn't do anything for myself. Um, you know, got up all ragged, took care of them, making dinners, doing all that stuff. And then they don't have anything, you know, they're off on their world and I'm left with nothing to figure out who I am. So I'm raising Natalie where, cause I'm not doing that for any soul now. I don't care who it is. It doesn't matter any soul on the planet. I don't care if it's my husband. I don't care if it's my kid. I'm not compromising this now. This is beyond them. I have to do what I'm doing. So by doing that and by living by my heart, through my heart space, what does my heart tell me to do? Uh, now Natalie's doing that, which is kind of bringing up a little bit of things because you know we tell her, I want you to go do this. And she goes, no, my heart does not want to do this. Yeah. 
<laughs> so then it's like, well, okay. But now she's having consequences actually for doing like basic things. Like, you know, she doesn't want to take time getting ready in the morning. She just wants to get going to playing or to watching a cartoon. But that actually affects her day in a negative way. But she sees me. So I get up every single day and I get ready, like ready for whatever so that I'm ready. And she's seeing that. And that is making a big difference in her character, you know? And I asked her what she thought of the other moms, because I know that I'm different from the other moms and the other moms don't really talk to me because they don't know what to do. <laughs> yeah. So I don't talk about surface stuff. I like I meet you and I find out like what's going on, uh, you know, you know how I am. But she goes, I don't know. The other moms look kind of weird, like <laughs> like they're tired or something like they just got up. <laughs> yeah. And it's like, well, that's like a whole thing. It's like a template, a person, you know, that they programmed us. And I went through that program because I wanted to fit in and be accepted where I changed even when I was homeschooling because I homeschooled my adult kids for five years. Um, but they ended up wanting to go back to public school. And I didn't realize to the extent now I know it's just like you can't have your kids in public school. Yeah. <laughs> and expect anything to happen other than separation and frustration in your life, you know? No, yeah, definitely true. So just having your boys around you and they're at the age where hopefully she will, this gets into the whole thing with the way women are, but those boys need to be around you. Oh, yeah. they are. They need As the majority of the custody. Huh? As majority of the custody, so they're, with me pretty much all the time. Good. Well, and that says a lot too <laughs> about the situation, but they need both, but really the mothers, I feel like the feminine, uh, they need to bond with the mom from zero to three. And then after I'm saying for male or female, zero to three, they need to bond with the mother. If they don't bond with the mother, then they forever have problems that show up when they're like 11, 12, 13, because they create like a fractured personality because they never learned how to bond. Okay. So it's super important. So, but with boys at this age, seven to, well, I always say nine to 12, but you know, they're in there seven to 12. They have to bond with the male. They have to bond with the male or they will become in, their energies will become inverted and which is what you're seeing now. And okay. then you have a woman and I'm not saying this about the mother, but you have women that are have invert. Well, most people are inverted energies, right? Their, their divine feminine is too much is too little and their divine masculine is too much. The men were are being told, you know, how the men are inverted becoming these beta males yeah definitely you yeah so you can prevent that beta male thing and like i talk to mainly women about this because they're usually the ones that are in the seat but if the woman is i mean if she's not giving you problems or kind of interfering and you can have them most of the time then that's really good because then you're able to they're at this age where they're really like looking like how to be developing kind of nine to 12 is when they develop how they'll be as adults. Okay. So the job, like the things that they're interested in. So whatever hobbies, whatever things they do. So you want to make sure they're not just sitting around watching TV, which I know you're not. Um, and I fight with that with Nat because Derek has trained her, you know, he's still in that programming. And that's the hard thing about all this. You're raising these kids and you're going through this situation. They're going through ascension. You're going through ascension, like in terms of, and I'm using that word, not the new age term, but our bodies are changing to adapt to these new energies. Every single soul is going through that. So with quote unquote schooling them, I just feel like right now, everybody needs to just freaking chill out. You don't need the, nobody needs to do anything. Kids need to be able to get up when they want to get up, go to bed when they want to go to bed, but you create a high vibrational environment 
um, limit screens out in nature, lots of things, hands on stuff and just be in the sun. <laughs> like you literally don't, you know, and like no. get their diets good and whatever they like, but that's all we need to do with the kids right now. And they need a break, especially if they've been in public school or a private school that's run like in that, that whole way of running a, a school is to keep you, to keep you into a robot sitting at yeah. a desk and memorizing facts. They have to actually detox from that. I think it takes like nine months. Okay. Especially boys, boys shouldn't even, do you know that you don't even have to register your child until, for kindergarten until the age of seven? Really? Well, you don't have to register them all, but yeah. if you're somebody that's following the rules and is like, because boys can, especially boys, they are not designed to sit at a chair. Yeah. That's probably and why Adderall was made. <laughs> what's that? That's probably why Adderall was made. It was, it was. So they're basically telling parents like you have to drug your kid. Yeah put them on meth um so that they so that they will sit still they're not designed to sit still so they're literally killing they're literally killing their spirit not only that all the additives and all our food that makes them really like hyper oh, yeah all that red dye oh i forgot oh, yeah. nat made me a coffee see she's making cappuccinos <laughs> awesome <laughs> i better drink it yeah, all the red dye. I mean, I've noticed this with that because she was a pure child, all organic, everything like never had medications in her body, never had medication from me, never had vaccines, nothing. And then we got an au pair, which is like a kind of like a nanny, but not quite from the Ukraine came and she lied. And I did it, it would never happen now because of the way I feel, th I feel things. I don't even have to see somebody and I can feel things, it's crazy. Uh, but she lied and wanted to basically be with somebody here in Idaho. And so she lied on to become an au pair at, from the Ukraine. And like, we went through this whole service and then she got here and she put Nat in front, well, she abused her physically a couple of times. I know she did. And then she put her in front of YouTube saying, oh, it's an educational show and at 18 months. And yeah. Derek went along, basically kind of went along with it. But I was going through all my certification and I was going through all of my, all of this crazy stuff that, you know, that I couldn't, I had to just let it go and I had to surrender and just let her be, let it, let it happen so that I could get, but it kind of scared me because I have all this stuff going on over here, but I'm being awoken to this information so that I can tell, find you and find other people and tell them about this. But it all worked out. It all worked out, but Anyway, I don't know why I'm telling you about that, about uh, the au pair and the TV. Oh, just like how that like started the, po like the poisoning. Oh yeah. Like, I, yeah. I started fighting with Derek and everything else. Cause it's like, oh, we're starting to let her watch TV. And then it's like, oh, we're driving across the country. Oh, we're at a restaurant. They need to be, it's like, no, they don't. No, they don't. They're entertained by watching the clouds. How in the heck do you think I see? <laughs> you know what's up in the sky? It's way more interesting than yeah. what's in a freaking satanic dumb show. Like I tell Sam, I tell Nat this when she watches some of the shows, because most of them she just can't watch because they're implant, they're gross. They're all putting in this pedophilia stuff in there in the kids' shows. Um, but I tell her, I'm like, the kids that ride the short bus are the ones that watch that show. <laughs> I only say that because the short bus, yellow school bus comes driving through here and those oh. kids stuck, stick their tongue out at Nat, like she's in her golf cart. 
because they drive the golf cart places mm -hmm. around here. Yeah. And they, they, you know, they see Nat that she's not in school, but they stick their tongue out at her and say all this mean stuff to her. And she yeah. asked me, why? Why are those kids doing that? And I was like, well, <laughs> you know. know. <laughs> so that's why she identifies the mean kids on the short bus. <laughs> the short yellow school bus. But yeah, I'm excited that your kids are out of there. Yeah, I am too. I'm glad. Definitely glad. I can't wait to start teaching them like real stuff. Yeah. I mean, you're living real stuff. Mm -hmm. Like what kind of stuff are you doing that they would, are they, do you think they would want to do or, or what do they seem like they like right now? Well, they love cooking. I cook with them oh, a lot. Nice. I definitely want to start learning about like plants and like medicine and how to detox your body, like what products you should be taking. I mean, I already know what not to take, so. Yeah, it's like what to actually do. You know, it'd be awesome. I'm really getting into this. It's like filling my, my field with, and I know that people are, some chefs are already doing this, but you know, I'm gonna have restaurants and stuff and all different things. I want to food trucks and different things around what I'm doing. But I love this idea of like a forager's diet it's like food that you create from things from the forest yeah and then of course it's like red meat um like bison and stuff like i don't really care about that i know there's all this thing about but i believe that like good clean red meat full butter um mushrooms i mean i'm obsessed with oh, yeah. mushrooms mushrooms are my favorite too <laughs> yeah and taking them and if you're get your boys on them if you can you know you can put like um do they drink hot chocolate or what's something that they drink or eat uh pretty much just water and then i have my juice it's 100 percent cranberry juice and then okay. like coconut oil and then uh i mean i give them hot chocolate sometimes but not really yeah that's not really something because yeah. i'm like thinking if you could get them to drink like with a dropper full of like mushrooms i don't know i got all these droppers of stuff but you know what they look like um yeah i just got just, lion's mane from you oh yeah lion's mane. do you like that one you got did you get the tablet one i know we have several versions yeah i got it we have the one that I haven't, I started, I grew another one, a trumpet mushroom, but I ordered it for the store, uh, Lion's Mane, where you can grow it in your house or in a, and then you can just yeah. cut it off and eat it. But I love eating Lion's Mane with just sauteing it with butter and salt and pepper, and then maybe some okay. garlic or something like that. But yeah, get your kids on all that good stuff and their brains and their, the thing is when you start taking mushrooms and it doesn't matter which mushrooms like someone watching this going oh she's talking about magic mushrooms <laughs> actually psilocybin i mean psilocybin's fine you don't need to be freaking hallucinating and all that and actually i think that people who get into mushrooms thinking that they want to go into like a trip if they're not healed or greatly oh, yeah. healed i don't agree with that no i understand it yeah I think micro dosing is very good for you I it's do good too. for like depression like alcohol it does everything it creates oh, new yeah. neurons i microdosed yeah. for a 20 21 22 like for like 90 day, 30 day containers 90 day containers where i was like observing myself like as very intentional and it was so good. It was like doing surgery almost yeah. in, your, in your field because it's like, you know, you it, it raises your awareness. But now I don't need to take anything to raise my awareness. <laughs> yeah. I don't need to take psilocybin. And I did. The last time I took psilocybin was a year ago at this this group. And it was nuts. And I'm like, no, I don't like this. Yeah. <laughs> I am totally aware. So now when I do retreats, which I'm going to do another retreat and I'm going to do co-ed retreat, um, we're going to do psilocybin. Like I'll, I'll hold the ceremony of meaning, not the ceremony. What I like to do is I like to do it where it's like, we're in a natural environment 
and we're just being natural talking and like whatever you have a fire going you what you have stuff you know and then as these you know things come up and out into the field I don't know. It's like together we pick up on them and it creates its own energy. I don't know how to explain it, but it's wild and I love it. Uh, but only with like healed people. You know what I mean? No, that's right. Yeah. No, you yeah. can see like the field around you and everything. You can like literally see everything. You can see my field or you're saying in general, you can see fields. Uh, not in general, but when you do. Oh, when you do. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I love it. I mean, now I, I do see the fields now. <laughs> like oh, you do, yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. It's like, it's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot to be around people. Like I went yesterday I was out into town and I felt like I was hit by a truck. I had to literally lay down when I got home. Really? Oh, yeah. So the energies from other people, when it's unhealed energies, like my son, he is not healed. He will do like he is done. He doesn't measure the psilocybin and he's done like, granted he is almost 6'10", but still, okay, still, that's a lot. He did like six grams once. Really? Wow. Six, six and a half grams. He's done, he doesn't even know he's done so much because he's just like, oh, I figured, ah, how much could this be? Well, all of these dark things, so these spirits came at him and talked to him. He said he wasn't scared, but they're still presenting because those are in your field and you need to deal with it, you know? Yeah, no, I definitely hear you. Yeah. But, um, so... You've got your kids that you're taking care of and you're realizing all this and you're going to be going into this homeschooling thing or just living with beings kind of that will be yeah. exploring. I feel like we're learning with the kids now. You know? Yeah, oh, yeah. We're having to relearn all this stuff. I got this. Oh, this would be a great. Um, I got this book uh, called the book, The Ultimate Guide to Rebuilding Civilization. And this book tells you anything you want to know, like how to loom and sewing machine. That's so funny. My mom used to have one of these big looms in our house. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> and when I opened right up to it. Um, and they can learn how to do tapestry, whatever they want. It might want to be interested in how to build a bridge, purifying water. But it's these really cool drawings. Like boys love this. But now yeah, that we've been cool. looking through this, there's a beekeeper, which I'm like, yay. I go, I actually looked at this to find out what supplies we needed because I want to start doing that. Um, how to make weapons, which we're not going to really need, but boys would love that. It's fun. But see, things like this, it's like you don't need anything. It's just like stuff around your house. Um, but I feel like we're going to be learning because we're having to learn how to live for the first time ever. We're learning all this stuff. Just like our kids, supposedly they need to learn stuff. Yeah, no. it's fun, so. <laughs> we need to learn. Yeah. Stuff. So what else, like, where are you at right now? Like you feel like, are you living where you want to live? Are you in kind of a transition or what's going on with that? No, yeah, I'm definitely on a steady uptick of increasing my vibration. Like, there's really not too much that I have to cancel out, like anything negative. Like, I'm trying to detox right now. I just got, like, all your medicine just a couple of days ago. I'm going to try starting that today. And then I'm just starting, starting to learn new things. Like, I want to start, like, learning how to cook, like, how to grow gardens really good, like, about all the plants and what they do to your body. You would love electroculture too when you're looking at the garden. Yeah. Gardening. I mean, I'm always incorporating the inner, like, I love this whole frequency thing. And, like, basically creating DNA is what we're doing. Yeah, that's really cool. Do you see that we're doing that? Yeah. No, definitely. <laughs> it's wild. It's like basically when you put a frequency, so like this book. Okay, so I'll show you like a 
um, well, I was hoping to find one that I found yesterday, but it talks about like what, what this means. Oh, like here's one, like this is a sacred geometry picture. This is awesome. You know, and this is telling you, this is actually speaking to your subconscious right now. Is that a sand dial? What is that? So this is, it says from behind the cloud or veil of mystery that conceals his nature, the creator protrudes his compass and having like any author written the title of his work outlines it by his spinning axis that more or less is a geometer's story. So it's kind of like a compass, you know, those. Oh yeah. Okay. I see yeah. But it's like learning all the frequencies, what the different frequency patterns when they're laid on top of each other. <laughs> That's why my office is the way it is, is because, well, part of it is I've just been like unlo unpacking and all this, but it's like, all of it is high frequency. It all has the frequencies that I want in my field and to absorb in my field. I have um, things written in magnetic ink, you know, like sayings. I have, I won't have books in my office or anything in my office that I don't want to absorb. And you can actually come into my office and get enlightened. Yeah. <laughs> like you literally do. People come in here and then they're like, they come out and they're like talking to me about something that I'm like, oh, they picked that up. <laughs> they picked that up while they're in my room. Um, but understanding that, that you're the, you are the creator of your reality, a hundred percent, like a hundred percent. And so every time that somebody comes into your field or something happens in your field that you don't prefer, your you brought that in to somehow see something or to know something yeah definitely i've seen it many times before <clears throat> like with wow. people like how you <clears throat> like i've met many people that can see auras and like they have similar stories to me about like intuition mm -hmm. i actually took uh, a class in uh because like I said, I was awakened to all of this information, but I was, I was programmed to degree to think that it was evil or and to stay away and that kept me away from it. So it actually took me two years of processing to, to learn what was happening to me. I didn't even know what happened to me. Like when I had all this information downloaded in my brain, like I'm talking volumes of information that yeah. I had never heard of in my entire, I never knew this. And then the way I found different people was I just was like, because I was desperate. I was scared. I was like, what? I couldn't, I didn't tell anybody what I was seeing and what I was knowing. Yes. Yeah, I mean, that's what happened to me. Like all this information just like started pouring in and then that kind of just awaken me to like see certain patterns or did you know what was happening to you when it happened were you already kind of familiar with this a little bit like okay. i kind of <clears throat> like i've always questioned things like i always understood like eating certain foods like how that affects my body mm -hmm. like my body can't eat certain foods like soda i've never able to like ever been able to drink that Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I it's starting to reject it more probably yeah. than it did five years ago. Food. Yeah. Like things are more sensitive to you today than five years ago. Oh yeah. 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 So the food makes a huge, huge, huge difference. But it's just all this different things like I just look at it as like every person is at different layers of, of getting those getting those patterns off. But the person who decides that they're just absolutely refusing to go along with this, they don't believe it. They're resisting the change. It's like, you know, I mean, I don't know how much you know, but I always talk about it on the group about, you know, when I'm like losing my ducks, like I have a duck die or I have a whatever of uh, my 
my dog ate my chickens all these things like were hap are happening but it's like my last duck that died was this white crescent duck and okay. The crazy thing was, is that she, and I'm telling you this because this is like how I live now where I'm like, use everything as like a message to tell me, to bring me to something else. Well, the white crescent, well, she was sitting under the cucumber plant, which is the same cucumber plant that my bunny who died or went missing. I swear it's like, find her? no, <laughs> really? I end up losing both of those bunnies and these ducks and all this stuff happened all within succession of each other. Well, I was looking out the window and Derek was going out there and I'm like, why is she sitting under the cucumber plant? Cause she's sitting under there by herself. Yeah. Looking forward at the, at the garden box, not towards this, not towards everybody, her, all the ducks, just like she looking in. And I was like, but I didn't, I was caught up in whatever I was doing. You know, it was probably a day that I was on TikTok, but I was just like, I didn't go out there to see like, is she okay? But it, it floated through my head. No, you're not going because I had, but it floated through my head and I have pictures and I actually posted it in the group of my bunny under the cucumber plant. And I was telling her, cause those pictures, I was down on the ground taking pictures of her. And I told her, I was like, you are not leaving me <laughs> because I have the sense. I had this sense. And then we woke up the next morning and Derek came in and he's like, the duck is gone. The duck is dead like had died and the chickens with these 18 or 16 chicks were eating it. <laughs> I'm like, Oh my God, <laughs> that's horrible. So I don't know what happened Did the duck, but there's a white crescent duck. So then I'm like, okay, there's something about the white crescent. I need to learn about this white crescent, whatever. <laughs> so then that's leading me. I'm also studying about the civil war and pre civil war and like what's going on. And I'm finding out all, all this stuff that we're literally in the center, but then I, we're literally in the center where it all started. We're actually going today. We're going to a spring water, mineral water festival. Okay. And we're going, it's just in a town, literally 10 minutes It's called Williamston. We're going to a park. It's out of, there's a park mineral park. I learned that it's the oldest park in the entire US. It's older than Central Park. Wow. It's crazy. And they have a whole mineral. They've like put a gazebo around it and you can go there and get mineral water. Does it get pumped from the ground or is it just? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Living yeah. Spring. Yeah. That's where I get my water. Yeah. So we get Mountain Valley spring water delivered and then we have a reverse osmosis with a pipe that's mineralized that restructures it or remineralizes it. Um, but to, I love all, there's so much of that here in the Carolinas. There's so much like minerals and spirits and all this stuff. Well, that's really cool. Yeah. It's, it's really cool. It's really cool how all this stuff changes you. Once you just consciously put these frequencies or put these things in your field that you want. That's what creates the, you know, like, do you ever know the difference between fifth dimension and fifth density? Mm, no, but you can explain it. I'll probably. Uh... Okay. Cause I just wonder if people think about this is that fifth dimension like when I think of like, or fourth dimension, like we're in fourth dimensional awareness right now. Yeah. Collective. Mm -hmm. That means our consciousness, we're aware at a fourth dense, a fourth dimensional level. Yeah, definitely. But density is we're trying to get to fifth density, which is 
uh well like i feel like i'm at like probably six seventh dimensional consciousness and awareness and that's why i'm not fitting here yeah. <laughs> right now it's like get me get, get this going um but the density is the physicality so yeah we're not in a fifth density yet I mean, there's elements like I'm bringing elements like my pink Lumerian crystals. <laughs> you know, there's elements that I'm bringing in that are creating that fifth density or like I learned the consciousness is something you like to study is about uh, the consciousness in crystal skulls. So you yeah. can, I had these made. I have five of these. OK, they're all made, but you can get them. You can just get crystal skulls, but they house the consciousness. And I'm telling you, this gives me so much information if I meditate with it. Um, but so fifth or density is when things are, the water's all clean, like it's physically showing. No, I definitely hear you. you get, it's, it's kind of like yeah. obscure, like we're in, you're in, you know, fifth, sixth, seventh dimensional consciousness. You know, we go out in and out of consciousness. And then like when you're talking to, you know, somebody at work or something, you're dipping into third. And then you feel annoyed because it's uncomfortable. It's <laughs> uncomfortable. Yeah. I have, I knew I was led out here away from the cities and everything. And I couldn't figure out why. And everybody is asking me why. Nobody asks me why anymore. Nobody asks me why I'm out here because they're like, oh, my God, I want to be out there because we're away from all of that. And so it is the fifth density is I can see like like it's like piercing through. I can see it. Yeah, because I'm living as much as I can and embodying that higher level of consciousness, which creates thoughts that are higher level, which creates things that are higher level. You know, it's like, I'm always into like this. And that's one of the things like, for example, I have everything in my store is to create a higher level of living on things that you wouldn't like, for example, these don't sell because people don't understand, but I have these Turkish towels in my store and okay. they're for a towel, you know, out of the shower but they are super high vibrational. Like they literally lift up because water is magnetic and you can feel it when you use these towels, you know, you just feel it. Um, and you're raising your vibration, then putting a, you know, 1799 Walmart synthetic polyester towel around you. You don't realize how these little things all either uh, raise your vibration or lower your vibration. Yeah, no, I definitely. And so it's like people want to make these big changes, you know, big changes where it's like, okay, I'm going to go on a diet. <laughs> or, you know, oh, I, I got to get, you know, I got to get my business in order. <sighs> whatever they do, whatever their program thing. And I'm just like, I don't have to do anything. I don't have to do anything. All I have to do is raise my vibration and be in my best light and be in my best, what makes me the happiest. And then I see what comes from that. Oh, I feel like painting right now. I feel like doing this. I feel like reading this book. Then that leads me into a whole big labyrinth of stuff that creates me putting into the physical, act, taking action. Yeah, no, definitely. I definitely understand. That's definitely what I want to do. <laughs> it's like an energy. It's like your Merkaba, you know, your Merkaba, your chariot get yeah. activated so it's not like i mean i don't know how you are now but like a lot of people before awakening or during whatever you don't feel motivated to do anything like you know you like talk 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 about starting a business or whatever it is homeschooling your kid or you know what i mean i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that but you don't have the actual you wake up in the morning and you just don't feel like you can do it. You know, do you ever get like yeah. that? Uh, kind of. But I now mean, you're at a far farther point. Yeah. 
I mean, usually just Sunday mornings are kind of slow, but other than that, not really. <laughs> That's why I'm on on Sundays. That's why we have our Sunday church. Yeah. So I'm like, we're all sitting around chilling, but then sometimes I'm chilling. I'm like, oh, I don't want to get on with the group. But then I'm like, no, I'm going to just act like I'm going to get on with them. Like we're just talking because I do feel like I would love it if everybody just lived here. And we could just go out my living room. And that's what I'm going to create. So where all of us higher conscious beings and then it's going to blow out through the world because other people like I have somebody in the UK, he's going to create this. So it's just morphs itself out as each individual wakes up to their light mm -hmm. and that Merkaba gets activated and it's moving around and it's, it's doing things. Then all of this, I mean, even like something simple, like I put um big tree of life on my gates of my house. Okay. On both gates which I said to Derek, I want the tree of life on there. And he's like, okay, we don't, you know, like you can't be doing that. It's too expensive. And you're just getting nuts. You know, what did, you do? did you get a painting of it or what? No, it's like cut out of the iron, the black iron. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm like looking at it right now, but we have two gates. But I had to put gates up because last year I had all these threats to me and stuff, which now I know it's a stupid, I'm not scared of anything. But um, I put these gates up and then we had to repair them because the people who put the gates up didn't put a strong enough hinge on the gate. So the weight of it, you know, drags it down. Well, this guy that we... Like I said, I don't, we got to get these gates fixed because we were just like waiting for, I don't know what, one gate wouldn't open because of that and all this was happening and everything that Derek is, was, he bases everything on money and he's like, okay, you know, basically didn't want to spend the money to get the gate fixed. Yeah. Which I, it would, whatever. <laughs> but I'm like, no, we're not because he lost his job in September and we're just, we're just now living, you know, and I have my company and stuff I do, but I never, I don't do anything based on money. I do things on my highest excitement because I know, well, cause I am directly connected with source. So I know that my information is going to bring something really good. So, or that's needed. Well, when we finally, he gets that, I go, we're not going to let the house fall apart and like get all like, Oh God. You know, the world's not changing fast enough for us. I lost my job. And so the programming says, oh, my God, you lost your job. You need to be in fear. You need to worry. No, he everybody needs to do this where they get to because we're about to go through the whole planet is going to be shifting, physically shifting the whole topography. Everything is going to be changing. OK, you're going to make all the stuff, getting cars, getting this, getting the house. Who cares? <laughs> Like, I'm serious. Like, I am, like, on this. Like, you guys have to get your soul freaking integrated. But we end up calling the guy, getting somebody to fix the fence. And he goes, the guy go, told my husband this. He goes, I can't believe that you guys called me to fix your fence or your gates. Because I drive by your gates and I've taken pictures of your gates and I love them. And I am actually like considering getting a tattoo of the, of your gate, the tree of life. Like I want a tree of life and all this. And, and then I saw your, is this so weird? Cause here <laughs> people aren't like that here in Belton in South Carolina. Yeah, yeah. So he ended up, he wanted to fix our gates. He wanted to fix our gates and he's like in, he understands that that, that means like it was amazing and he fixed our gates and now he's getting a tattoo of it really so it's like the message of the tree of life and all of this it's spreading oh yeah <clears throat> that's how i think the shift is going to happen like once enough people their vibrations wake up and then it's just going to be like a domino effect and then 
but we're seeing, don't you think we're seeing it right now? It's like individuals. Oh, yeah, the fact that you and I, we would not have this conversation a year ago. No, we yeah, would probably, not be allowed yeah. to have it. Yeah. Uh, it. Nobody would, nobody knows, nobody, whatever. We just wouldn't, we just wouldn't. Everything's changing. People are waking up now in massive mass. Yeah, I definitely see it every day. Like all the people around me, they're like starting to figure it out a little bit more and more. I think that's pretty cool. Now, are you, not that I'm I'm not involved in the financial system. <laughs> so if you get any messages from somebody who says, or me, it's not me. But yeah. I, I, and I'm saying that for people who are watching this too. But are you, because I believe XRP and all the X coins, all of it, the whole thing. Yeah. It's all spiritual. And the people who get it and get invested in it, in it, it doesn't even matter if you bought a hundred bucks. Like if you went down, like I think this is fun for every parent to do this, which I've managed to tell 3D people and they've done it. <laughs> but go yeah. down to Coinstar and get 20 bucks of XLM. Okay. For your kid. Yeah. No, I already have some. Yeah, but I meant like people who don't like oh, yeah. do it. But yeah. good. So you're invested in the economy, the new economy. Yeah. So you're gonna be one of the people, the people that know about this and that are in this, yes, everybody can get their birth certificate money back and all of that, which will be great. You know, however much you've paid into the system will be how much you get back. And everyone's gonna have a quantum access wallet and it's all gonna be digital. And, but the people who know about this, this is like the dot com era sort of, or the, you know, when I was uh, in 1998, all these Microsoft millionaires came about because of, um, the change with Microsoft and everything. So people that went to were, were just working there, they're in their worth like $50 million. And so they're having all these retirement parties. Yeah. And my ex-husband had gotten a job at Microsoft in the mailroom, just, you know, 1985. And it was like just a dumb, you know, no one knows about Microsoft. Uh, but all those people were millionaires. That's where we're at, where it's kind of like that now. We're okay. going off of the old, but the people, the majority of people that are going to be really like having the money because we're going to have to re we're going to have to create our way of our new living, but we're going to have the technology. And then those of us that are invested in the economy and that are humanitarians and different things like that, they are going to be creating all of the companies that people are going to be working for and doing. Yeah, that's definitely what I want to do. Like, I'm not bound by like any materialistic thing. Like, yeah. Like there's this one quote, I don't know exactly how it goes, but I don't want to be like looked as a celebrity down here. I want to be looked as like a celebrity in like God's eyes, like yeah. do something good. Exactly. And you're at that point in the awakening where it's like, this isn't about like getting followers or getting whatever it is in your realm. Like I literally don't care now, like what anyone, <laughs> what anyone thinks yeah, once you yeah. see that spiritual side and you know it's there, then. Yeah, it's like, I just want to stay in that. I just want to be in that all day. Well, I am in that, which gets me in trouble because <laughs> I don't know what time it is. Yeah. I don't know where, what's going on. And I get, it kind of causes a little bit, Derek's starting to realize, he's like, okay, because it's like, he's still kind of talking to me uh, in the old world, like, linear mind and i'm always coming up with answers or decisions for whatever we're doing more in a quantum expansive way yeah you know like i don't care like right now it's like well how are we going to do this well i, I can't do this because of this i'm like i don't know who <laughs> knows but it's obvious we're just going to go through each day each single decision and then at, and then if as long as like we're I'm meditating and I'm focused on my vision, you're just does this decision bring my vision? Or does this decision take away from it? 
So it's like, that's why I don't really, I don't really argue with, with Derek or argue with anyone. I'm just like, yeah. no, that's taking me off my, <laughs> that's taking me off my thing. That's putting me on the lower timeline. I do not want that. So I'm always thinking that way. No, I love it. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. I mean, I was thinking like with TikTok, cause you know, I was when I was building this up and I'm like, Hey, I just, I know that I have to like get my frequency out there. What was so crazy is when I said, I said it out loud, because when you say things out loud, that activates the field that activates the game. Okay. So, so saying things out loud is really effective, but I said out loud several times, I was like, okay, I don't want to get on social media. Like I'd already gone on social media through my business manager told me, you know, you got to go on Instagram and make your stuff look like, you know, the mom swant or whatever, but I yeah. couldn't be who I am, but I was like, I don't want to attract. I'm not looking to attract. Yeah. That stuff that the people yeah. that like or that are into that because then they're not going <laughs> to, it doesn't make sense. But when I had said out loud, I said, okay, I'm going to just get on TikTok. I know I just have to be consistent, be myself, whatever. And it's going to be awkward. I'm going to be a dork when I first do it, but who cares? This is bigger than myself. This isn't about my avatar, you know, yeah. um, because that's a big thing. People won't get on or show their face because they don't like their avatar, but their avatar is a reflection of <laughs> their avatar is a reflection of what's going on inside. Yeah. Their soul. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. I can definitely see that with everybody. <laughs> yeah. I mean, are you seeing it like with, let's just take it since that's what we're from. TikTok. It doesn't matter if you guys show your face or you don't show your face. If you have a dark, you have stuff in there. We're still seeing it through your videos. We still know it. Yeah. Like everybody needs to be authentic. Like if you're not doing, you don't want to show your face or you don't want to talk to somebody because you don't want to, because you know that, that, that people, that's why people don't want to talk to me is because they know I can see through them. Or why people don't want to get a scan done. Yeah. Because they're like, oh, she's going to see that I'm not real, that my heart's not real. Yeah. Um, but it's all coming out. That's my whole thing. It's like, just be authentic that the fact that you're struggling or whatever, or uh, yeah, this is what I'm feeling. And that's why I am the way I am. Like, uh, I just show up however I am and people's are like questioning me. And it's just like, I just want, everybody needs to be there. I think it's going to be appreciated in the future to be your own unique, authentic self. Yeah. Uh, I heard that's the uh, most highest vibration. Yeah. Authenticity. Yeah. And being unique, like uniqueness is now going to kind of take front, you know, nobody wants to, nobody cares about, I don't even know what people care about right now, <laughs> but nobody cares about it. It's like, I love hearing, I love seeing artists. I love seeing people do different things. I love meeting kids that aren't programmed, you know, and that are like unique and listening to them and what they have to say. It makes me emotional. It's like seeing all the kids at my, at Natalie's little class, there's 12 kids and I don't know, just seeing them all walking and I, Natalie was like walking by herself. And I was thinking back when I was a kid and it's like that feeling of walking into the school, but she wasn't, she was walking into like a garden of people, literally a garden with people in it that were like embracing her. And so, yay, Natalie's here. And it wasn't about like, oh my God, what are you wearing? What do you yeah. have? Oh, you're, you showed up doing this or, you know what I mean? And it made me cry. I was like crying. <laughs> My husband she made a lot of friends. What? She made a lot of friends. Oh yeah. She's like, you know, I mean, there's only 12 of them in there, but yeah. they're just all a big group. Um, and they just all love each other's light, but she's definitely more mature than the kids in there. <laughs> Cause she's in with, I think she's with the four to six year olds. How old is she? She's five. Well, she's turning six, September 3rd. Oh, really? Yeah, and that's when I really feel like I had my awakening. Or Liam's my birthday is September 6th. 
What? Liam's birthday is September 6th. Oh, wow. Virgos. That's funny. And we've got the Virgo energy coming in. Like these next four weeks are going to be, well, every day now I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> what's going to happen today? What's going to be created? <laughs> what's going to go forward? You know, I don't know. It just feels so magical and great, which I almost feel guilty, sort of, but I'm just happy uh, that I feel like this because everybody else is like all upset and mad. <laughs> They'll figure it out soon. Yeah. So, well, so what are you thinking that you're going to be doing for the next, you know, the next, well, I don't know, six months for the ending of 2024? How are you seeing it go? probably just raising my vibration like yeah. i want to raise my vibration more just focus on it now do you work at a job yeah do you like it i mean it's okay i mean yeah. i like physical work a lot so i mean that's a plus okay good yeah i do too i like to be outside and like doing stuff um because you don't think that you'll be changing i mean who knows like with the different systems coming in and that changing, would you keep on working or do your own company as that work? Or would you have something else that you're going to be doing? No, if the new system or when the new system comes in, I'll definitely be finding something new to do. Yeah. So that's why I think that we all want to work on now is like, what is that? so that when that time comes we are somewhat prepared because it's gonna be we've been in such a survival mode for so long and there's so many things that is still maybe programmed into our mind that we a lot of people are gonna squander their money you know they're just gonna run yeah. through it it's like when i watch that house it's on HGTV. It's a show. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> it's called Million Dollar Lottery Winner or Lottery House Finder or something. Yeah. Do you know what show? No, I'm not sure. I don't really watch TV. No, it's it's just, it's just really dumb. Yeah. Uh, but these houses, like you'd think, oh, they won the lottery. So you're going to see, because I love, I love like interior design and I love like houses and stuff. So yeah, no, that's me too. But I go on that show and there's only there the people, so they win, you know, a million dollars to I don't know, 10 million, 30 million, whatever they are, it doesn't matter. But they have the survival mindset. And so they are only purchasing homes that are like two or three hundred thousand dollars. Okay. So this is a show that's advertising like lottery lottery home winners are buying a home they're lottery winners that are now buying their dream homes it's called like dream home lottery or something i don't even know okay well, and um so you would think that you'd be seeing cool houses on there and like people buying houses that are what they really want and yeah but guess what they weren't prepared for this so they're still in the mindset, the same mindset they'd be in if they were able to squeak together enough money to buy a house. It's like, well, I don't want to overspend. I don't want to, oh, I could probably fix that bathroom. Oh, I could do this or, oh, well, I really do want to have this, but it's fine because it saves me $50,000. It's like, what? <laughs> I mean, when your decisions are based around money, or lack of it, like being afraid of being having it, then it's not going to work out. Okay. So a lot of people are going to have that experience where they're going to lose all that money within like two years, I see, like two years time. They're going to be buying, you know, going on a vacation, not realizing we're building a world where you don't take a vacation from. <laughs> yeah, I like the video that you posted probably about a week ago about how if we got all our money about three years ago, most of us would have spent it. And that would have definitely been me, <laughs> but or not anymore. It differently than you would now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, my house that I'm in right now is a perfect example. Even though I could say 
that it was the only house available by the time and it was during the time that we had to it, nothing was you know we had to buy we had to, we had no place to live <laughs> yeah. um, but the thing is is i told the things that i did i would have put more emphasis now i would have gotten a a smaller house or a, a i wouldn't have cared so much about the house than getting the land yeah which i want to do my healing center but i did my my thing for my, my thing in washington like i was getting yurts do you know what yurts are no what's that a yurt is kind of like a teepee but it's more structural that you can live in it okay but they're really cool they're outdoor they're in a circle okay and you can have like a kitchen and stuff but anyway I was going to get yurts and have them everywhere and do my retreats and stuff like that. And I do, I like to do my talks and stuff outside um, and do all this ceremonial stuff, but, um, but really just be connecting energies to create new energies is what I like to do. I'm an alchemist. Yeah. <laughs> you do that now? Any ceremonies or anything? Well, I do on my own and yeah. kind of like, I mean, even like what you and I are doing, like we are, we are connecting our energies are merging and people are going to be watching us and it's going to create something. I mean, what I'm creating, I'm creating, I want to do all that stuff. So that's why I'm, so what I'm going to do is I'm opening up. I'm just going to go ahead here in South Carolina because I've been waiting I, I bought this house and thinking, okay, I can have my healing center in the house. And that's why I created, I also created the house and did all this stuff. It's kind of like a set <laughs> because this like showed people and I used artists from all from TikTok to create the different things in my home. Okay. I had an artist come from Illinois. I totally changed his life. So his name is Eric Michael and he's on TikTok. He decided in 21 that he was going to make painting murals a full time, like his job, you know? Yeah, that's really cool. He was just like, I'm going to do it. But he was really nervous and it took him a long time to get to that point, but he decided to, and he's just like, who's going to call me to do this? Yeah. Nobody's going to call me. Well, I had been fought. He had been posting his, he posts, started doing posts. He doesn't show his face, but he posts posts and I loved it. It was of this, um, butterfly fairy thing. And I'm like, oh my gosh, I love it. And I saved it. And I was like in my house, this house, because we were living in another house, this house it was supposed to be six months, took two years. Um, but I'm like, I'm going to have a mural painted. And I just was collecting all these ideas and these artists. Well, then it came down, you know, we're moved in. I'm like, I really want that mural. But I'm like, nobody will come out here. <laughs> nobody will come out here. Yeah. Because it's ridiculous. Out there, nobody will. And nobody's going to feel comfortable staying at our house because it's weird, you know, in the way people are. Yeah. Even though we have a like beautiful, like it's literally like you're in another house. This house is 7,500 square feet. So really? wow. the guest room, the room that I have, and I even made my guest room, like this is how much I think about all the people that are going to be in my life. They have the same cast iron deep. It's like this deep cast iron tub uh, oh, really? that I have. I put it in the guest room. I made it into this whole spa suite. All the stuff It's nicer than any hotel that's here in the whole South Carolina. It really is like I made this because this was new earth. I didn't, I spared no expense and I use only natural materials. So everything's marble, wood, um, gold, whatever. It's no, for the most part, as much as I can within a square house. Yeah. <laughs> but he, so I thought that I'm like, but you know, but people are so weird. They don't want to stay. But then it was like, you know what? You create your own reality, Monica. So why don't you ask him, just ask him what, what's going to hurt. He's on TikTok. If he says no and laughs in your face, I mean, who cares? Or what's whatever. What does it look like? Um, 
I'll post pictures in the group to show you okay. or have to show you because I can't take my camera. But it's yes. a whole, it's a scene of us going from Pacific Northwest into the uh, rock, the Blue Mountains. Okay. Uh, the South Carolina mountains or the Blue Ridge mountains. So it's like a mountainous scene and it's so cool. And then of course I have the sun, huge sun shining over it. And then it goes down underneath into this whole wildflower painting, like just flowers, which yes. I do videos. Sometimes I'm sitting in front of the wildflower part. <laughs> um, and I used to do lives where I was in front of it. But what was so cool is when I called him or messaged him, he told me, well, so much stuff ended up with him, but he told me, he's like, oh my gosh, like, I can't believe that you called me because, because I missed him. I'm like, I doubt that you'll come out here. I go, but I'm doing this thing. You know, I told him, I'm like, I'm creating this life and I'm using only artists and people that from the world, no corporate, no whatever. And I want the frequency of all the different beings that are also going into the new earth that I feel that he's like, okay, yeah. <laughs> he's like, you are wild. And I'm like, yes, but just, would you do it? He's like, oh my God. Yeah, I will do it. Well, then it turned out that one of his hesitations that he was saying was like, I don't know if I can do this business because who is going to call me up? and ask me to come out to their house yeah. and paint a mural. Like who's, who does that? And I did that. So he put that out there and I said, who would do that? I said out loud, who would do that? Yeah. Who would come out here? And it was like, and then source is like, well, both of you are like, well, <laughs> go find out, put it out there. And it was like, we both created, we were both, it's like, that's how we're quantum entangled. Like we're both creating this, this, this merging. And like this literally changed his life. He came out here and he was, he was nervous and uncomfortable to stay here in my home, even though at first he didn't know, but it wasn't me. It wasn't because of me. Cause I was like super chill and like, I have everything. He, I made the whole loft. I have this whole loft connected and he had his own refrigerator. He didn't have to see me. I set up like a coffee bar, like everything. So it's like, yeah. like literally like more than anybody would ever do anywhere. Like he doesn't even have to see us. He can't hear us. Nothing. Yeah. He was still uncomfortable. So he said he, after one night, no, no, no. The first night he stayed at a hotel. Cause I get, it. he just drove here and yeah. he finally here. And I get it for the first night. It's like, you know, that's fine. But then he sat down with us to tell us that I, don't feel comfortable staying here and I want to stay at a hotel, but get this. He asked us to pay for the hotel. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. I was already, I was already kind of in a little bit of a thing with Derek having some stranger come into the house. And like, I was pushing all these things like we're putting yeah. the girl in, we're doing this, we're doing that. <laughs> We're ripping that out. Oh, but that's 40 grand. I don't care. It's done wrong. I don't want it because I don't want to live. Like I was like, I'm going to live in a house where I'm not walking through it and having thoughts of like, oh, I don't like that. Or I don't want that because I've been doing that forever. But he ended up going to a hotel for one month, which caused all this delay. Yeah. He gets inspired to paint. And then he comes here, it's a half hour drive. And then he has to deal with the dogs and he has to deal with everything else that is just, you know, coming in, getting set up. And it ended up taking him, you know, twice as long. But after one month he came and he goes, I realized this was all me. And like you, like, 
you're he goes but it was good for me to see we we're standing out in the yard and he was like he goes you are so different he's like i he goes it's amazing actually what you're doing but i wouldn't been able to see that contrast if i didn't stay at the hotel and he's like it is a whole nother level here a whole nother level and this no, was literally by creating the vibration and now I have his vibration and he, all these people called him for jobs and he's so busy, he can't even stand it going all around the country. Really? Wow. Yeah. So it was all like me, you know, Derek's just like, you can't do this. And I looked up a mural, like it's peel and stick one. And it was really expensive. And then we'd have to have it installed. And then I'm like, it's getting to the point where it, it costs the same to it would cost the same to pay to get a painter to have a painter and i'd rather that i don't want a made in china yeah right <laughs> i don't want the frequency of made in china or wherever you know linoleum and come to find out the people here that do work here they don't have and for the most part i'm sure there's one person that met them yet they don't have any integrity in the work that they do like zero 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 they just want money <laughs> They're all programmed under that whole thing. They all go to church on Sundays and go to their jobs and they don't want to go to their jobs. So they do all their work crappy. <laughs> I'm serious. It's like yeah. crazy, but I'm realizing actually moving from Washington to South Carolina was moving from the fire, from the frying pan to the fire. Like I thought all the liberals all the liberals were in Washington and they are, you know, it's a captured state and all this, but here, because I really think that the, I don't know, they're like two sides of the same coin. So here are the religious people that, that condemn everybody if they don't think like this and everything has to be done a certain way. That's the same thing. It's the same thing over in. So, they're in for a rude awakening because everything's going to be changing here. I mean, all the human trafficking, everything was started here. Well, what state are you in? Wisconsin. Oh, Wisconsin. I've only been to Wisconsin when I worked. I went to a spa there. I worked for, so I don't know a lot about it. What are people like around there? Um, honestly, pretty decent. They're pretty decent people. I mean, they're not very judgmental at all. That's good. Do they seem awakened as a whole to what's going on? Or is it just like everywhere else where they're kind of like the walking dead? Uh, most are kind of like the walking dead here. Yeah. I don't really there's, think there's a few people. There's a few people, but yeah, I don't know. Some, so many people say they're awake when they think that they know about, like, they know something, you know what I mean? Like they know about that Biden's in a mask or something like that yeah but there's so much like i'm past all of that yeah i don't even watch it anymore like i can't even no. watch it <laughs> no i cannot and that dnc oh my gosh the democratic oh, yeah. convention yeah. so it was on i watched the first five minutes or so of it for two nights like not not like oh i'm gonna watch it i just did it to see what in the heck and it is so crazy. Yeah, it's weird. It's like, how are you, do, how is this, this is another, it's like you're peering in. You're just peering into another world. <laughs> yeah, it's it really amazing I'm to like, watch. This is delusional. And they're super abusive and yeah. negative and nasty and evil and sick and perverted. They said so yeah. much stuff. They told people so much stuff on there. But what happened, one of our members or one of the members of Reality Shifters, she was watching it. And then the, that night, her husband saw a spirit next, laying next to him. And she saw stuff in the hallway. And I checked their aura and they were like full of this. And she goes, I think that it happened by watching that. I'm what like, was it yeah. then? What's the DNC? 
the Democratic National Convention. Oh, okay. It's where the Democrats parade yeah. all their stuff. Okay. That's what's going on right now. But it's like giving off negative negative things and attachments. Oh, so I'm sure. Like you can't watch this stuff. Yeah. You can't watch it because it will come and show up in your field. And now with the software, I'm seeing that. Like if you watch a show where people are drinking alcohol, in your field will show up as ghoul. It shows up as word ghoul. It's yeah, it's crazy. called alcohol. Yeah, it's crazy. And it's like, I remember when I first got scanned, I was watching, I had just watched uh, Housewives of whatever, Housewives of Orange County, who knows, something dumb. And then I was doing the scan because I had this meeting or that ad was on for it, something about it, but they were drinking and they were mean. But it showed up that I had that in my field. Really? But I also had somebody living with me at that time this was last year or someone living with me that was with an alcoholic. So it could have been that too. That's another big thing of like watching who you bring in your home. It's like super important to keep yeah. energy clear and to be saging. That's why I have so much stuff in my store. That's like different saging mm-hmm. stuff. Cause it's like, you've got to be clearing your house all the time, but yeah well i love it nick that you are you know that you're waking and you're on the path and this is what i want to do is all of us connecting from around the world like we're all one and we're all feeling it we're all different ages all different it's not even about that (laughs) once we go through the med beds too we're all going to be 20 25 whatever we want whatever we want to do of course when you have kids they say you can't go too far back. So, but I've been practicing the whole mindset thing of you're your own med bed. So I've been doing yeah, that I mean, over a year. I haven't been sick in three years, so that's pretty good. Yeah. I haven't been sick with anything. I don't even think about it. It's not in my field. Yeah. It's not yeah. my field at all. And I do my scans on myself and I work, sometimes I'll just sit and just work for hours and just like clear a whole bunch of, plus when I went to a retreat last year, um, I went to retreat with uh, Kim Kimberly, who helped with the software, and they completely cleared my entire field and my home for part of the retreat. So, so what does she do? What does Kimberly do? So Kimberly, I want to say her last name is McGregory, but I don't know if I'm saying it right, so I apologize if she's watching this. <laughs> but she is she does the scans where i had the way i got in contact with her was i was scrolling around on the internet one day on youtube kind of going through with information being you know how you get opened up to information yeah before you don't see it anywhere it's just in your Mm -hmm. heart well but i didn't know it until it connected with it um i was scrolling on YouTube and I saw this thing about the super soldier program, becoming a super soldier. And I immediately was like, oh, I gotta watch that. Cause I don't know. I was like, I felt like I knew about the information. I felt like, I don't know. So Kim was on there and she does software she has this software i don't have those panels so i do it as a health like well it does have show me the ai spiders and all this stuff in your field but um she does it uniquely and she won't she doesn't sell these panels but i would love to have some of them um where she can see if you're in a super soldier she can see if you're taken at night she can see if you're um, if you're cloned. Like she says, I'm in a clone body. She said, my husband's in a clone body. But we are fire creation. She can tell if somebody's a fire creation, meaning do they have a soul or are they an NPC, like you might think of. Okay. Um, some of the information though, now I've been using the software for a year. So she has different scans. She's at secret to everything. 
dot com, I think it might be dot org, but secrets to ever secrets to everything dot com. And you can get her, you can get this scan. It's like, it's called a military. I'm not sure if it's called, you'll see it, but it just will tell you. And I, she told me all this stuff about me. And then I went to a retreat of hers in North Carolina. Okay. Because once I had my scan done, and found out because I was on this quest of finding out who I was. And I was starting with my blood, like knowing your blood type. And I was going through the lineage and all this, taking everything in. And so then when I found out all of this information that we're in the simulation, like truly we're in a game, you know, truly we're in a game. I've never liked playing video games. I never liked watching any shows because I'm like, this is more interesting. Like mm -hmm. I'm doing the real thing. That's what I guess I've always been like. Cause I'm like, why are you spending time freaking what playing video games all day? So like, do you I'm, think we're, do you think we're like we're being controlled or we have free will? Well, so that's what we're trying to get to. Yeah. We're going trying to get to we were under control with all these different uh, mechanisms that they were putting over our avatars. First, they mind wiped us. They mind like I guess she said I've been mind wiped more than anybody she's ever even seen. I mean, I don't know what she say now, but she did say that. Um, and I have it all recorded. Um, her talks. She what you when you get a scan from her, you don't talk to her like how I do it. But um, she scans you and then send you a recording recording of what she's seen and your aura. Okay. Um, so she does all that and she's on YouTube. So you can, and so what she's kind of focusing on right now, and she's the gal that I was saying that she's looking for panels and stuff. So you should watch her stuff. Cause I don't know exactly what she wants to do. Cause we're definitely on, on maybe different sides of things. Um, but on the same side. Okay. That makes sense because, but some of her, she doesn't see the template. She doesn't see the timeline of the garden of Eden timeline and that we're going to go to this abundance and all that. She doesn't see it. Um, and so when she talks in her information, you know, she believes that we're still being, um, and this gets into galactic information. So people are going to watch this. It's going to be kind of wild um, if they watch this far. Um, but she thinks we're still getting jumped by or still being taken by grays. Um, different things like that. Um, I don't know. I don't. I think that we're, I just think that we're going on, on to different things. So one thing that she does too, and you'll see on her videos, is she goes through different people usually with another guest and tells how they are. She, she has like a group that she works with and they'll go on together and she'll, she'll tell how, and she'll run a scan on them and show their aura, which I've told her she should do one on me because there's a group of people that think that I'm, that me and Derek are running a scam, a financial okay. scam on people and stuff. And so I'm always having to field that I'm genuine. Uh, but then other people are like, yeah, like she is. Um, but so she does these aura scans and then talks about the person about, oh, they say that they're channeling uh, a drama or something. And she's like, nope, they're not, you know, she doesn't believe in channeling just like I don't. I don't believe that you, I believe you're telling yourself it's yourself. It's yeah, you're yourself. Yeah. yeah, it's not, it's like your oversoul or whatever. I I mean, cause you can actually feel a difference once you get to a point where you know your know your frequency. I can tell, like like now, I don't even remember, like I don't know anything that we've talked about prior to this moment. You know what I mean? Like I don't know. I have to go back and like I have to watch my own videos. Yeah. I read the comments. Because I, this is my true self talking. It's not some pre, I'm not trying to get you to think something or I'm not, I don't have anything to remember. I don't need to remember anything. You know, I'm like, we're like soul speaking. 
or I am soldier, <laughs> you know, it's like, whatever we want to talk about, whatever needs to be talked about, whatever needs to get out there is like what gets out there. But when you notice the difference in your frequency, as your frequency expands, your awareness expands, it's like you notice a frequency when you're feeling like you're not able to be authentic or you're not able to, you know, that walk in an eggshell feeling or, oh yeah, Definitely. you know, or like if you walk, if I were to walk, like if I walk into, uh, if I were to walk into like, let's say like Target. I immediately, my jaw gets tight. My, everything starts like bracing and I'm like tense. I start getting anxious and all this stuff because it's like, I know that I'm, and I'm like that when I have the TV on, that TV is on when Nat's watching some of those shows. Like, I'm like, this is like frequency just like pouring into you. But, you know, it's like if you're under comatose or if you're under their frequencies, the more you're under their frequencies, the less you are sensitive to it. Yeah, it's like a beta or gamma wave that's coming through your TV. Yeah. Ugh. But I know it's a big difference. But, well, Nick, I love this. So we've been talking so much and I hope yeah. I didn't talk too much. No, but... I love it. Sounds good. Good. Yeah. So I'd love to talk more and do more of these things. And as people kind of like get in this mode of just kind of seeing, because I'm seeing that in the group that people can like, I love it that they kind of talk about the things that they are kind of walking through. And then like, I kind of talk about that, you know, like, because it's like, I feel like I'm like going through this like ahead of time and seeing it and then like creating a path for people that are watching because they see this and I feel like it literally does illuminate a new path for them. You know, people yeah. come from all different backgrounds and it's just like walk the path, walk your best path and knowing that your individual frequency, unique frequency is what's wanted and needed at this time. So that can make you be excited and not feel like, oh my gosh, I can't show up because I feel like this, mm -hmm. you know, it's like, I want people to like all the new people that want to start shows or start channels or, or even if they just like show their life, you know, document their life, which is kind of like what I started off. Like, I kind of feel like this is like document my life. Yeah. Like this ascension and just seeing the trend. It's great to look, look back on videos and be like, Oh my gosh, you know, but we're all growing. And I just feel like people love to see it. Yeah. I so that's why I loved it. it when you're doing your videos and it speaks volumes, even though you're not speaking, <laughs> it really does because your whole frequency is coming out and it makes me emotional because I don't know, this is so emotional what we've all been through and that we're all getting through together. And we're going to get to the other side. And yeah, like, definitely can't amazing. wait. Amazing. We're all gathered together. I can't wait. That's going to be the future or the now, but the future vision is we're all together. None of the separatistness, which is a program that will be off of us. So everybody will want to be hanging out together. And we're going to have tele teleporting. So <laughs> we'll be able to just zip around. Hopefully. <laughs> Well, have a great day. I'm going to see how this mineral thing goes with unhealthy people putting together. Like, I don't yeah. really understand about water. <laughs> yeah, right. But that's okay. I don't really see people when I go out, you know, like I don't see anybody. Um, especially something like this. Like, I'm going there to like connect with it, you know, so I don't care. Have you been but, there before? Well, yeah, we go to that park all the time because now yeah. to play in it. Yeah, because it's the only town that's not 30 minutes away. It's only 10 minutes away. But I oh. haven't been to the Spring Water Festival yet because I've always missed it. Can you drink that water? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to get bring, we're, we get the glass, five-gallon glass. Yeah, that's what I have. So I'm going to bring an empty one and fill it up with this water here and give it to my plants and... Whatever. I give it to my plants. I'm trying to heal my basset hound. My husband, he drinks so much of that spring water. It's healing yeah. water. And he is, my husband's lost over 100 pounds and he has 
gained two inches in his height. Really? Yeah, he wow. was five nine on a good day. On a good day, he was five nine. And I was just like, because I measured him a couple times. I'm like, you're lying by your height. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm like, you are, because I used to always wear five inch heels and all this, but I'm like, still, like, there's no way that you are five. He, like, he said he was five ten or something. So I was yeah. like, I measured him several times through the years. I'm like, uh huh, you're only five nine. I was so mean. Well, th the other day we're like, I'm like, look at us, we're transforming. Because I always told Nat, I said, we're the Incredibles, the superheroes, the Incredibles. I was like showing her example who they were. And I'm like, we're superheroes, but people don't know. And that actually goes, like she came to me last year. She goes, mom, the, the other kids don't know. They don't know that they're superheroes. <laughs> and I'm like, I know, I know. But that doesn't mean you're not a superhero. It's just that you're here to show them through you being a superhero, they realize they could be superheroes. So anyway, it's really great. Um, but he, I text him or I measured him with the measuring app and he is like 5'11". What, just from losing weight and drinking spring water? Well, I, <laughs> but I mean, he's lost this weight through, so like a, we lost a whole bunch, of, like on our journey to creating our home on five acres, because I thought I was doing this all in Washington. And then okay. to the point where we pulled out of our driveway on August 25th of 2020, after only living in that house, well, it ended up being six months. Um, but we had made the decision at four, uh, living there four months that we have to leave. I have to leave. Because after I had Natalie, it awoken something in me, but I did not know the extent of it that it wasn't i didn't know that it wasn't going to leave me alone it wasn't that, that i didn't know that what happened so i was like okay i we just built this house i can't leave no yeah. i can't tell derek that we're no but some things happened whatever uh so he's been so we lost weight and everything just through that because we were living our living on this higher timeline and then we both kind of like gained gained weight but he's always had struggles with his weight i guess so he had had because i've only known him for nine years um he's had gastric bypass or some kind of that type of surgery before okay. I, before i knew him but he was overweight when i met him but people are always like what why were you like they were like why are you with him but i didn't i don't see people like I don't see the avatar. I just saw I just saw his energy and I knew, well, we were supposed to be together for this, to create this, what we're doing, Natalie and all this. Natalie come in here and me going through that natural birth, that whole thing is what's brought this all here. So yeah, it was this whole lifestyle. I don't know, it's just the lifestyle of becoming your true self. And he has struggled through it. You know, he came here, started eating at Bojangles and all this. I'm like, what? You're eating a captured food. That's fast food. That's to capture you and all this. And I had to like fight him and go through everything. And then he kind of saw like, as I was like going forward that he's going to be left behind, you know? So then I kind of transitioned to him just eating at home, not eating restaurant food, not eating food out of a box. We made our own food. So he learned how to cook basically like he wasn't really cooking for himself you know he was he was somebody that like ordered doordash and you know watched tv and like didn't go outside yeah so he changed it's just the whole lifestyle and i kind of forced him into it because he realized that i'm not going to be hanging around if he's going to be doing that but us moving across the country, because I think he originally decide, agreed to move because he thought it would be way less expensive because he was not happy with how much the house ended up costing. Because you okay. know how everything costs so much money. And this is in Washington State in Seattle. So this is expensive. So I kind of think that his motivation 
but he didn't get that I'm like bringing us into, yeah, we're getting chickens, we're getting ducks, we're creating a garden, we're gonna learn to, he didn't understand all this and he he didn't know what I was going through. So I was going through this ascension and like heavy symptoms. My body was shedding and I was doing all the things. And then he saw me changing and he realized he had to change. So it's just been like the lifestyle, but I've even gained in height. Probably like a quarter inch, half inch. Well, wow. yeah. And I think it's not even that we didn't have the height. It's just that once your spine and everything and your like your body is like getting into like how it's supposed to be, you're Lighter. standing taller. Yeah. I'm even talking about it like I was like this. So it's like it could just be we weren't, you know, and if he had all that weight or weight that's just like making you and then plus uh, psychologically seeing him gain height from lifting off all those false beliefs that he had about himself that caused him to gain all that weight and caused him to live in that thing. Yeah. All that stuff like lifted off and it never was about like, okay, we're going to go on a diet, you know, also like no medications, no, no chemicals, all doing frequency. And he's been doing frequency healing consistently for well we were doing it before we got the software i have a pemf mat i have red light therapy i have the quick coils oh one thing do you have these these argon whoops these argon uh, no i don't no so these argon you can look it up and you just want to find one that's real good quality because the argon emits a violet like frequency, like gas. Okay. And you put this next to your bed, you put it by your computer and it protects you from the black goo. <laughs> it's actually kind of like magic. It really is. Have you scanned it? I haven't, but I need to, I have so much stuff to scan that I'm always <laughs> scanning stuff. So I haven't scanned this yet, but yeah. So that violet, that violet flame, but it emits kind of like a gas. They t they talk about putting argon like around your house, um, which I don't know if you can buy it, but it's like crystal and metal together huh. inside. It's like it's inside this whole. Where'd you get that one? I don't know. I have one called it's called Monica and I was looking for it's a big white and gray one. Oh, it's up there. Let me see if you can see it. Oh yeah, this one. Oh yeah, I see it. See, and it's right above the tree of life. So it's totally yeah. like, except that whole area, that whole corner, you can feel it. You stand there, it's like buzzing. <laughs> That's cool. Um, but yeah, they're hard to find good ones because I was on Etsy looking because people create them. So you, they're artists, they like make them and they can make really junky ones. Um, oh, I don't have it sitting here, but, uh, Jody, Jody Mass or Moss, M-A-A-S, he creates these different, um, energy. Let's see if I have one close by. I usually do. Um, but it's like got these Lumerian points on it with these copper, um, these copper spikes, and then they put the Lumerian crystals on it. And he has it sitting in a wood in wood. Okay. Or, here, or here's an or this is another argon. It's kind of like a paperweight, but I meant. Oh yeah, that's cool. Argon, yeah. So I was like, you can get all different things to go in your environment to, that can be useful, but help the energetic flow in your house. And we want to always block out that black goo. Yeah. Anyway, look at me. See, look at me going on on these deep topics when we're going, when we're leaving. <laughs> but I love talking about this. I love it. Yeah, me too. Well, thanks, Nick, for coming. And let's do this. Let's meet again. And if you know, whenever you want, and I'm going to just be putting out and then anybody who's watching too, think about joining our group and we're going to be but if you want to do an interview on your ascension or just talk because I want to get the collective. I want the collective to be talking for the collective to watch. <laughs> Does that make sense? 
like yeah, I'm definitely. trying to bring it together. Like not like people are like I'm not doing a tick to making TikTok videos or I'm not and all the stuff with TikTok is getting so out of hand. It's almost impossible to to do yeah. anything on there. It's just so and I don't know what's going on with that app. But yeah, so I just want to have us all talking and so we can all relate and get to know each other and build this group. And then there'll be groups within groups, you know, and there'll be yeah, stuff in their area because this whole community thing, you're hearing other podcasters, other people talking about it. Everybody's going to have to build and create a community. So that's just how it's going to be now. It's not going to be this big thing like we're doing. <laughs> no, I love it. I know I do too. I'm excited. Okay, well, we'll talk to you soon. I mean, I feel like I'll, well, I'm going to be on tomorrow if I see you. Tomorrow is Sunday. Yeah, yeah right? I'll probably see you. Or yeah. I'm like, is it later today? Yeah. No, it's tomorrow. <laughs> so I'll see you tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern. And then, of course, I'll see you in the group. And okay. I'll take All right, thank okay. you. Thanks, Nick. Take care. Have a good day. Bye bye, you too.